Okay, in this video, we'll talk about Dreamweaver from an overview perspective. Um, just getting into Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver has been around for a long time. Adobe has uh, improved this platform over the years. Um, there's a couple of different ways to work in Dreamweaver. There's a design mode and a develop mode. There's also a split view mode, and we'll take a look at some of those things here. So just first things off, Dreamweaver always wants to start with a site folder. There's a site manager, and it expects you to work in a specific way. Uh, essentially what Dreamweaver does is it keeps track of all of your files as you're working on your files. So that could be HTML, it could be JavaScript, it could be CSS files, or any other PHP, whatever other technologies are in there. So it expects you to start a site, and then work from there. So if I go to the site menu down to manage sites, uh, this will be the view that you would normally start with to set up some sites. Um, I don't have any uh, anything set yet, but I can click this new site button. And then it gives you this wizard where you can start. So I'm just gonna call this demo. And then it asks you where you want to put your folders. I'm just gonna click the folder icon here and I'm gonna create a new folder on the desk, desktop, just call this site. And then I'll click choose. And then if I wanted to associate this with a Git repository, I could do that. Uh, Git is a, um, a way of working with web files. Um, it's, it's, it's beyond uh, this class, um, but I'll just go ahead and click save and then I'll click done. So now you'll see over here in the site area in the files area that I have a folder now and I'm ready to start working with Dreamweaver. Uh, over here on the left-hand side, I have um, these items here in this toolbar. And if I go to file to new, I have a wizard that comes up basically asking me what type of file that I wanna create. And in the new document type, I have HTML, CSS, less and SCSS, JavaScript files, JSON, et cetera. So there's all these different file types that you can start with. There's also starter templates. Um, these are templates that you can start with. There's email templates, there's responsive, bootstrap, basic layouts. There's also some site templates. Um, I haven't saved any site templates. So I'm just going to go back here. Now in the new document in the HTML type, uh, I have the framework is set to none, but you can also work with Bootstrap. We have, there's another video that talks about Bootstrap, what Bootstrap is. It's basically an HTML framework with a bunch of CSS and JavaScript additions that allow you to build sites rapidly. Uh, right now I'm just going to choose none. And I could give a title to this document. I'm just going to call this uh, demo one. And the doc type, you have a choice. Right now, HTML5 is the current HTML um, um, flavor out there, but there's also 401, 401 strict and transitional, there's 1.0. Now, you would use these on limited occasions for fallback measures, but HTML5 is the most current, so I'm gonna stick with that. And if I had a CSS file, I could attach it to this right now. Uh, but I don't want to do that just yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Create. So now you can see that I'm given this view. And then the top section, I'm in the split view right now. In this top section, this is a live preview of what's going to happen. And then the bottom section here is my code view. So that's the split view. I have the code view, which is just the code. And then there's a live view, which is just the live view. And the reason why we can work this way is because we can work in a WYSIWYG type fashion in Dreamweaver. Uh, just to show you what I mean, there's an insert panel over here. And an insert panel gives you a bunch of different HTML elements that you can just click and drag and add to your page. So to go back to the split view for a second here, let's take, take a look at the code. So I have um, the doc type. I have a meta tag, I have a title, I have a head tag that's open and closed, then my body tag, and then the closing HTML tag.
So in this panel, if I were to insert code, so if I um, click in hit return and I type in an H1 tag and I type in hello, you'll see that that is reflected in this view. So this is like the live view and this is the code view. Um, so if you know code, you can put the code in and it will be reflected here. If you don't know code, uh, you can always go over here. I just put in an H1, but if I wanted to put an H2, I can click that and it's going to put that in for me. And then I can replace the content. And then I can save this file. When I save the file, it's going to save it into the the site folder that I created when, with the site manager. And I'm going to give it a name. Now, the, the name that you want to give the first file of your website is always index.html. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save. So now you'll see that this index.html is saved. And uh, if there are any changes to this document, for example, if I hit the Return key here, You'll notice that there's a small asterisk next to the file name, and that means there's been a file change. So then I'm going to go ahead and save that again just to make sure that it's saved. So we'll get more into Dreamweaver. But for now, um, we'll stop here. And so the key thing about sites is that you have to manage them. You always have to start with the site. That's just part of Dreamweaver's way of collecting and pulling all the data into one space. And uh, we'll get more into Dreamweaver and building files as we go.